Hello TMS families, uh, my name is Miss Weber. I teach music at the Ohio City campus. You may also have seen me at the University Circle campus substituting in the classrooms. Um, I'm so sad that we can't be together during this time, but I hope that you all are spending some nice quality time at home. One of the things I love most and that I miss the most about being with your children is playing instruments together. Instruments are really great for exploring beat, rhythm, and timbre, which is the types of sounds um, that are made. So I thought that today we could try to make a simple instrument together using things that you might already have at home. So here are the things that I will be using today and you can see if you can find something similar to those at home. You can use a toilet paper tube or um, a paper towel tube cut in two. If you don't have any of those to spare, you could use a piece of thick paper that you could make the tube out of. This is just an envelope and I cut off part of the envelope so that I can roll it into a tube. Um, if you choose that option though, you will want to make sure that you have some glue or maybe a stapler to make that tube stay together. You will also need something to decorate with. So I have some markers and I also have some paints. Uh, you can choose anything that you want to decorate your instrument. And the very last thing that you will need is a sheet of wax paper. Now, I didn't actually have any wax paper, so I chose parchment paper. So this will be kind of an experiment for me to see if the instrument still makes a sound that I expect it to, or it might make a different sound. So uh, that's another option that you could take is you're making an instrument, but you could also make predictions about what it will sound like. Um, in addition to that, you will need a piece of elastic. I have hair ties. If you have regular rubber bands, that will probably work better. But again, I'm just using what I have around the house. So go ahead and pause the video and take a minute to gather those materials and then we will get started. Okay friends, the first thing you will need to do is decorate your tube. You can decorate it any way that you want. I have decided to paint mine. If you choose to paint your tube like me, you want to give it some time to dry before you assemble or put together your instrument. Ta-da! Now I chose to color my tube blue because I love the ocean and I love to go swimming. Hmm, what color will you choose for your tube? Hmm. Make sure to ask your child why they chose to decorate their tube the way that they did and let them explain themselves. You can get a lot of really funny answers from that. But we will go ahead and move on to the next step. The next thing you need is a piece of wax paper, or in my case, parchment paper. Um, I've never tried this with parchment paper, so I'm hoping it still works. It's a nice experiment for us. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the parchment paper because it is going to fit over the end of the tube, and I don't want it to be too long. There we go. I have a nice small square of parchment paper that I can now fit over the tube. I'm going to angle my camera down so that you can see how I put this together with my elastic. There we go. Hmm, I can't decide whether I want to use the big elastic or the little elastic. I think I'll try with the big elastic first and I'll put it around twice so that it's nice and tight. Oops. Maybe too tight. Oh, that's too tight. I'm gonna try the little elastic. You can see I didn't take my own advice and let my paint dry. So it's gonna be a little messy, but that's okay. Okay. There we go. Covering this all the way. Trying to make it nice and tight. There we go. Okay, I'm going to angle my camera back up. The very last thing that we need to make this instrument 
is a pair of scissors or a needle, something to make a tiny hole in the tip of the instrument. This part's really tricky. Oops, okay, there we go. I've made a hole in the top. Now I'm going to play my instrument by singing into it. Hmm, I wonder if you can tell me what the name of this instrument could be. That's right, it is a kazoo. A kazoo is an instrument that makes a very funny buzzing sound when you sing into it. So friends, we're all going to take our kazoos. We're going to sing a little song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I wonder what you are. Up, 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 so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. You'll notice that sometimes the kazoo makes different types of sounds. I wonder what would happen to the sound of our kazoo if we used a different material to cover. What if we used plastic wrap or tin foil? I wonder what would happen. Hmm. So, parents and kids, this is something really fun that you can do to explore sound at home. Um, I hope you have fun with this video and I hope you have fun exploring sound together at home. I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.